Well, after such a great introduction, I can't wait to hear the speaker myself. First of all, let me say that sometimes these honors can backfire. Uh, recently, I was voted as one of the 100 smartest people in New York. I thought, wow, what a great honor. 100 smartest people in New York. However, in all fairness, in all fairness, I have to admit that Madonna also made that same list. <laughs> and next year, they tell me that Lady Gaga is going to push me off the list entirely. <laughs> I would also like to thank the organizers of Calmex. Everywhere I go in the world, I have never never seen a giant telecommunications company like Telmex educate, interact, and entertain masses of people like today. Never have I seen such a tremendous display of energy and expertise. So when I think of Mexico, when I think of Mexico, I see a huge rocket, a huge rocket about to take off. All the ingredients are there. I see a young, eager population waiting to be part of the future. I see entrepreneurs. I see technicians. I see people ready to guide the rocket. But what the rocket needs is a match, a fuse, something to ignite the rocket so it takes off. And that's where Telmex, and that's where you fit in the picture. You are the match. You are the spark that will send the rocket called Mexico into space. Now, I should also say that I'm a physicist. What does a physicist have to say about wealth, about prosperity? Well, we physicists invented the transistor. We helped to assemble the internet. We invented the laser. We wrote the World Wide Web. And don't forget, we also invented television. We invented radio, radar, x-ray machines, MRI machines. We created